the STEM coordinator at the Lakeshore Museum Center. And joining me today is Tegan, our special guest star. And like most of you, we're stuck at home for a while here, so I'm bringing some fun science experiments to you that you can do with things you have lying around. So today's experiment, you're going to need some dish soap, you'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need a toothpick or a Q-tip. Uh, we're going to use a cookie sheet here with some water on it, but you could also use a sink or a bathtub if you wanted to, or any kind of container that's got a decent amount of space in there, you can fill it, uh, about a half an inch of water or so. And then lastly, you'll need some cardboard that you can use to create your boat. So what Tia and I are going to do first is we're going to create a boat that is going to end up being a little float on our lake of water here, and then we'll add some dish soap to it and make them race each other. Sound like fun, Tegan? You ready to get started? So go ahead and let's cut our boats out. All right, so hold up your boat, Tegan. So... First step was going to be to create your boat and you want some kind of um, little exit point for it because what's going to happen with our dish soap here is we're going to apply it on these edges and it's going to act kind of like our thrust. So it's going to push our boat off there. So it helps if it's kind of funneled out of one area. So Tegan did a little triangle shape there and I did a little uh, kind of like V or W here. So we'll see which one of these is going to be best. Now the next step is going to be take a little bit of your dish soap. And you want to smear it along the edge. I'll have you go first, Tegan, on the edge of your cardboard in this area. And then you're just going to gently set it on your pan in the water. And you should see it start to move. Grab the toothpick and put it on my bow. And you want it on there pretty thickly. It'll work best if it's on there where you can actually see all the uh, dish soap. You ready, Tegan? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's start at this end. Three, two, one, we'll put them in there. One, or three, two, one, go. Ah, I'm at one. So what's going on here is the dish soap is actually um, breaking apart the water tension. If you've ever seen a bug walk on top of the water, that's because of the surface tension of the water, or the particles sticking together. And when you add the dish soap there, it starts to break that apart, and it basically creates an area of um, low surface tension. So the boat's trying to move across the water as it's breaking up that surface tension, and you see it going across. Now, depending on how much soap you have on there and how wet your uh, boat ends up getting, it might move around for a bit on its own, um, but eventually you'll have to either add more soap to it, or you might have to change your water as it starts to um, get the soap in the water and break the surface tension overall. Hopefully you enjoyed that fun little experiment, and we'll see you for the next one.